Steerable needles are a promising method for drug delivery and biopsy that can avoid critical and delicate structures along the needle path while enabling higher tip accuracy. Most steerable needles employ an asymmetric bevel tip, seen here, that causes the tissue to apply a force at the needle tip. This force causes the needle shaft to bend in a circular arc. The needle shaft is typically made of nitinol, which is a super elastic material, and retains its original straight shape even after being significantly bent. In order to steer the needle, researchers have used the duty cycling method, where the needle will be rapidly rotated for a period of time, and then inserted without rotation for another period. The rapid rotation causes the needle to go straight, while the insertion without rotation causes the needle to insert along a circular arc. By varying the amount of time each of these steps is done, researchers have achieved a controllable steerable needle. In order to increase the tip force applied to the needle by the tissue, and thus increase the bending radius and workspace of the steerable needle, researchers have used a kinked needle tip. However, upon rapid rotation of the kinked needle, a helical path is cut in the tissue. We wanted to find a way to minimize this tissue damage. So to do this, we created a steerable needle that uses a flexure located between the needle shaft and the bevel tip. This flexure is made up of thin nitinol wires secured along the center line of the needle. By aligning the wires in this way, the flexure will only bend in one plane, thus creating a needle tip shape that is very similar to a kink tip. However, upon removing the tip force by rapidly rotating our flexure tip needle, the super elastic nitinol causes the tip to bend back into its straight configuration, thus resembling a straight bevel tip needle. Upon insertion into a tissue phantom with no rotation, our flexure tip is able to achieve very similar curvature to the kink tip needle. We are also able to achieve a linear curvature model using duty cycling, as seen here. Lastly, our flexure tip needle showed similar duty cycle performance in ex vivo pork wine.